Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. About three weeks ago, I did a video on solar power hydroponics for grown peppers. And many people have expressed interest in seeing what the plants look like right now. So today I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. Uh, you may notice that the plant is not outside at the moment. And that is because um, today it rained. So the painful thing about solar uh, hydroponic or a setup like this is that anytime it rains you have to remember to run out there and bring it inside or put it somewhere so that you can shelter it away from the rain because if the rain fall into the unit then you're gonna have to dump the nutrients out um, the, the plant may drown if it sits uh, in the rain and then it floods the inside so um, you just have to <laughs> make sure that uh, you watch the forecast and then uh, go run out there and bring the plant inside anytime it rains. So uh, here it is, it's sitting in my tent right now and luckily um, my solar pump actually works under this, uh, this grow light. This is the Hidden Harvest Company grow light, the HH200. And if you place the, uh, the, the unit, the pump right there close enough uh, at a good distance, it will be uh, enough power from the light to push the system to, to run. So here it is, um, around three weeks later, the plant is doing amazing. Uh, I have been doing a lot of pruning because uh, with peppers grown in hydroponic, it, it, does, it grows very fast and it grows upward. So if you want to size shoots and stuff like that, you have to trim. So I will show you what's going on once we get closer. So let me move the rest of the stuff out of the way. I'm growing all kinds of things up in here. So I'll move this closer to us. Okay, so um, I have not done anything to the system except adding some nutrients. So the initial nutrients that I mixed was still there and uh, the, the plant did drink a little bit and then the, the level dropped, so I added more. So let me show you what the roots look like. I have to be very careful because there are many roots and I could potentially damage it. You see that there? So lots and lots of roots right there. And you see the pump is working fine, giving the plants oxygen. Let me see if I can put this back in without damaging anything. Okay, so that's what it looks like. The root system is looking beautiful and white and clean. And um, let me give you some details on the plant. You see the center, this little center trunk right here, that is the original plant. And all of these large branches are on the sides. So in, in order for you to get the size to grow like this, you're gonna have to clear the area because the grow lights cannot get through and if it can't get through to these shoots then they will not grow so what I did initially was I pinched the top uh, I didn't top it completely you, I used the filming method and what you do is you just take the tip and just pinch it off um, not enough to like uh, to, to cut off the, the entire tip just um, just enough of the leaves up here you see so that's why you see the cut right there so, and then once you do that, you have to clear the large leaves like here. So there were large leaves like this that hang over. And when they hang over, they cover the shoot at the bottom like this. You see? And if it does that, these bottom shoots will never grow. So that is why sometimes topping is a good idea in hydroponic because the leaves are enormous. If you have grown hydroponic peppers before, the leaves could be the size of your hand and it, it span out like an umbrella and when it does that all of the sides right here cannot get light and they will remain small and all it does it, it will grow um, one single uh, stem up and then it will branch out and uh, when it does that it could become very top heavy um, for those that have grown hydroponic you know what i'm talking about they they can be very heavy and if your lighting is insufficient they become more top heavy and they might fall over or they become really lanky and really skinny and tall 
So uh, uh, trimming is a, is a must for me. Um, some people don't like trimming, but I trim aggressively. So initially, uh, as you can see, I trimmed there and then I plucked all of the leaves right here, the large leaves that were blocking these shoots. You see now the shoots are, are coming out. And as you can see, it's being covered again. So what I usually do is I'll come by and I'll take the leaves out. You see? And then when you do that, it, it will allow the bottom leaves to get light. And also it, it opens up this area so that light can get through. And when it does that, it will create a nice thick trunk that is strong. And also you will get these shoots right here to come out. You see, I have one, two, three, four, five, um, and I didn't even top the plant, okay? So these, these large ones from the bottom, they're okay. So these over here, see they're starting to get in the way. So just take those leaves off so that you can make sure the center get some light to get through. Uh, when you do this, it does uh, delay the pepper plant a little bit. But don't worry guys, I mean, this is hydroponic, there's always nutrients available so the plants will just have resources all the time and it will grow very, very fast and it'll catch up very quickly. So you're going to get more branches, just like this, and uh, a bushier plant, so if you do that. So that is the update guys, so um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and I will be taking these guys outside once again if uh, the weather gets better uh, or I might just leave it in here if I have enough space but um, that's what it looks like as of three weeks. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.